Hey everybody, Rich Menga here. Going to talk about Facebook chat. A lot of people hate Facebook, and for good reason, but use it anyway. Because that is the modern version of instant messaging. It is true that some people use Windows Live, and some people use Skype, and so on. But more often than not, when you're not texting people, you are using instant messaging through Facebook's chat servers. Facebook chat uses a protocol called XMPP, which is the Extensible Messaging and Presence Protocol. For those of you that use Google Talk, you probably are already familiar with this, but this is also what Facebook uses. The nice part about XMPP is that you don't have to use Facebook in order to use Facebook chat service as long as you have an account there. If you go to Google and search for list of XMPP clients. The first search result should be clients of the XMPP Standards Foundation and when you go there you will find a whole plethora of XMPP clients which is not just for desktops by the way. We've got Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, Blackberry, iOS, Palm Pre, Symbian, Windows Mobile, Palm OS. There's even one here, if I can find it. Where is it? Oh, right here. Console text mode. <laughs> so even if you want to do Facebook chat from the from a Linux terminal or a Unix terminal for that matter, you can totally do it. The only thing that you have to know really is what servers to use. The uh, user, uh, excuse me, the server name, username, and the port. Now there's basically two ways that a uh, XMPP client will connect. It will either operate by user, password, server, port, or just user, password, port. Okay. I'll get to that in a second. Your username, what is that on Facebook? Well, when you look at your profile, it's facebook.com slash uh, username. The username part is whatever name you decided to use. <clears throat> like for example on PC Mac, it would be PC Mac. And uh, to answer a question up front, does this work with Facebook fan page accounts? No, does not. Only works with personal accounts to the best of my knowledge. So it's uh, facebook.com slash whatever your username is. So that's how you find that out. Now in the first format, which is user password server port, depending on what client you're using, it would be your username, password, the server is chat.facebook.com, and the port is 5222. If using the second method, it's your username at facebook.com, which is not an email address, that's just a username in this instance, password port 5222. That's it. That's all you have to know. This is incidentally how you would connect a lot of... Uh, talk about Miranda specifically here, which is in the list. Uh, right here. That is how you connect Miranda to Facebook using Jabber slash XMPP using one of these two methods. So, if you want to use Facebook chat but you can't stand Facebook.com and don't want to log into it, don't bother. Use the XMPP client of your choice. There are a ton of them at that XMPP Standards Foundation link that I showed you how to get to a moment ago. Uh, for most of you on the desktop side, I would recommend using Pigeon, Trillion, or Miranda. One of the three. <coughs> or Psy. Uh, Psy, let me show that one real quick. This is an older client from 2009. It's still awesome, believe me. So if all you're using instant messaging for these days is just for Facebook, Psy is a good choice for that. But like I said, you can also use uh, Trillion, Pigeon, Miranda. On the Mac side of things, <coughs> uh, which is also listed in this list, Adium, which is Pigeon based. Check them out and start chatting on Facebook without logging into Facebook.com. Obviously, any I think most if not all of these clients don't have any ads in them. That's cool.
check it out.